Are you a serial returner, somebody who does a lot of online shopping and that makes a lot of returns? Consumer reporter John Matteris explains why those days may be ending in his Don't Waste Your Money report. A caution before you do your holiday shopping online. A growing number of retailers are now charging for returns as a result of high shipping costs. For years, online shoppers have become used to the words free shipping and free returns. But as shipping costs soar, many stores this year are dropping that second offer and are now charging a fee to return merchandise. According to Go Banking Rates, you'll now find return fees at Abercrombie, $7, Dillard's, $9, DSW, $8, JCPenney, $8, and J. Crew, $7. H&M says it's testing return fees, according to the report. One way to avoid them, bring your returns to a local store where you won't have to pay a fee. Stores love that because you usually buy something else while you're in the store. But from the Doesn't That Stink file, how much returns are costing retailers and the rest of us? Business Insider says a return can cost a company $20, as much as the cost of the returned item. Returns are costing stores hundreds of millions of dollars a year, costs that are often passed along to shoppers through higher prices. And that stinks. So if you're someone who orders multiple items in different sizes, planning to return some of them, Check the return policy first so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, ABC 27 News.